Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman and today I'm going to be showing you how to make MFA mandatory whether it's for a user, users or for the whole organization. So before I continue, please like and subscribe and let me just get right into it. What you want to do is come to the search bar and search for Microsoft Enter Conditional Access but I just put Condition conditional and you should see it Microsoft Microsoft enter conditional access click that and you'll be brought to the overview and if you want it to a policy for the whole organization to have MFA mandatory you can just come here click create new policy from templates and you'll see all the templates right and you can require MFA for all users. You can just click that and then click review and create. Uh, it's really two steps. And then it will just come here on and then click create. However, I'm not doing that. I'm just going to show you how to do it for users, whether it's in a group or just one particular user, as this is the example I'm going to be showing you. So users, sorry, just create a name. I'll just call this testing. You can call it whatever you your needs may be. Call it whatever you want. Users select users and groups. And I'll come here and I'll create Calvin. This is, of course, a demo account. Select. He is just going to be my my test subject, and uh, just to show you on here. So I've created him. Of course, you can create them. Um, you can pick more users, and you can even go through groups, whether it's IT department, finance department, HR department. Um, so yeah target resources and what you want to do is come here and this is where you can exclude the where MFA won't apply you can just exclude them where they won't need MFA however I'm just going to have Kelvin have to use MFA to log into every app really so yep I'm going to use that and then just go to the next. I'm just going to skip network as I don't need to change that. And then conditions. And then. Hold on. No, it's not the conditions. I'm not going to set conditions. I'm just going to set grant. That's where it's at. I apologize. Require multi-factor authentication click that and really just select yep on and then that is really it click create And then you can go check at the policy if it's if it's there and you'll see that it's on. So that's how quick it is. And just to show you, I'm going to log in Kelvin's account, fake account, and show you. Kelvin do there and then go to next of course you know how to log in and then log in and you will see that it is requiring Kel Kelvin to have MFA So that is how you do it. See, 
Microsoft Authenticator app, he would have to download it and so forth, or he might have to use a different method. But that is how you require MFA for a user or a group. So thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Have a good day.